All right, Parkland is your debut film as a director. Why this story? You know, I spent many years as a journalist uh, debunking and getting to the emotional ground truth of big historical stories. You know, Rwanda, the war in Kosovo, 9-11, arms trafficking. And what I found was the distraction of the big abstract political tale took an audience away from what was emotionally important about what they were wanting to read. The stories they wanted to know or needed to know but never had access to. And I felt like this film takes on the Kennedy assassination in a way that was necessary. You know, it takes us down to the human level as a human experience, not as a political chess move. So when you were doing your research to write the screenplay, um, I mean, there's so many books out there and, and movies that have been made about JFK before, but as you say, it, it tells these different stories on a human level. Um, and it's stories of people that we've heard about, but we don't really know about. Was there anything for you personally that was particularly, um, you know, a big re re revelation? I think I'm always fascinated in the DNA of bad acts. Mm -hmm. Lee Harvey Oswald, where did he come from? Who was he? When I learned about his mother and his brother, <laughs> it kind of coalesced very quickly as to where a killer comes from and why a killer kills. And to me, that story became obsessively interesting. It's very psychological, it's very subtle. You know, why does an, an average everyday man um, do something incomprehensible mm -hmm. that is avoidable um, and no one's making him do? Right. And I thought the Robert Oswald character was so interesting um, in that his conflicting emotions towards his brother, he's angry and yet almost feels a responsibility to, I don't want to say the word help, but to be there for his family. Family is family, you know, and I wanted to portray them as older brother and younger brother, not mythological killer and, uh, and his, own, own, his own own brother. You know, Lee Harvey Oswald was the punk, you know, thug who'd done something stupid and the older brother chastising him for it. I, that scene was very important to me. There is a, there is a, a pull or a temptation to create a scene of melodrama of Lee Harvey Oswald admitting it or denying it or going into it or, you know, getting on a soapbox. I just wanted to tell a story about boys, mm -hmm. older boy and younger boy. You have, um, the movie tells all of these different stories about people that uh, still have family members that are alive, some of them are still alive. What kind of responsibility, you know, as a writer-director in putting the story out there do you feel towards those individuals? Is it you know, I feel two things about it at the same time. One is a movie has to, any piece of art has to have its own life. People are not going to like how they're portrayed. They're, at the same time, I don't feel the obligation to them as much as the truth. Mm -hmm. People don't like the truth. Some stories are too true to tell, especially about ourselves. My obligation was to capture the most raw, honest version of what happened in a way that is entertaining. All that means is we metabolize and digest what we see in a way that's interesting to us and compels us. You uh, assembled a group of highly respected and talented actors. What was it about Parkland that you think attracted them to jump on board and go on this ride with you? You know, these are, these are serious thespians, um, and they, some of them are the most important actors of our time, and I'm a first-time director, mm -hmm. and, you know, I went hat in hand, and I realized that their level of enthusiasm was nothing I could inspire. It was, um, I mean, I think that they connected to my vision of the movie, but this is a story and a point of view that no one had ever seen, and that included them. I think that they were blown away by the stuff they didn't know, mm -hmm. and they wanted to be part of it. Um, and then it became a family. Um, became very close to them, and we all felt missionized together. We all kind of locked arms and didn't have a lot of resources, but wanted to tell the hell out of this crucial story. When I saw um, on stage last night, when you were on stage with that whole big lineup of cast, which was very impressive, I started thinking about um, how do you, it, a lot of them never interact in the movie. A lot of the actors don't have scenes with each other. 
um, because of these intertwining storylines. So how do, you, how do you create that sense of family? I mean, did some of them not ever even meet? Never. Yeah. I mean, Billy Bob Thornton and Paul Giamatti on screen together the, for the first time ever was exciting to do right, and I to bet. watch. And I think exciting for them, I think they looked at each other and they were like, are we sure we never made a movie together? I guess we haven't, but here we are. Um, you know, look, the, the hub of the wheel, the thing that connects all of them is the story. And I think the thing that turned this cast into a family was that, was the story and the responsibility to their characters and also to the overall tale that we were telling.